Where does Nerdventure take us today? We are at Heritage High School in Brentwood, California for the Horizon Grand Prix powered by the Toyota Mirai. This is a series that runs up and down California that has qualifiers, regionals, and actual finals that are gonna go on where these teams compete with custom designed 10 scale electric RC vehicles that run off of a LiPo and a hydrogen cell system that's in there. But the teams are tasked with uh, designing a body, setting up the car, coming up with a race strategy. They can run various different cars from pan cars to touring cars. Most of them have gone on to simplified pan cars right now. And these are teams that are done by middle school and high school kids. So this is something that's very cool that I got invited to be a part of. So we're gonna check this out. This is qualifier number one. It's a two hour qualifier. So that'll be very cool. We take I don't know, eight or 10 minutes into this one. We had a couple teams with some early failures that they kind of predicted, but this is uh, much like a test day for some of these teams. They haven't really had the cars out on a track yet. They've been working on them and just got them kind of finalized in the last couple of days. So it's a, a shakedown day, so to speak. But uh, action continues. Right now, Oakwood High School team number three is our leader with almost 70 laps. They have about a four lap lead over Oakwood Middle School team. Number seven, they have several teams. This Oakwood campus has, I wanna say in a total of eight teams in the field. And they are in the top eight spots right now. Heritage High School is ninth. Uh, Oakwood Middle School number nine is 10th. And Florian is in the 11th spot right now. But the teams are all doing between, I think the quickest laps I've seen are like in the high 19s, but they're 20 to 25 second lap times usually. So they are scheduled to go something to the order of 300 or so laps in the course of two hours uh, barring super long pit stops so still got an hour and a half qualifying action left to go heat number one about a half an hour left heat number one is underway and oakwood i think team number one has taken over the top spot they've had a pretty consistent program minimal pit stops and i think their advantage is power to weight ratio they seem to be running uh, what appears to be a 12 scale platform where most of the uh, teams are running 10 scale platforms so interesting the uh, rules changed a bit for this year they have less milliamps than they had in previous years uh, there's no minimum weights and there's all sorts of fun stuff going on you can check it out i will put a link down in the description for the horizon grand prix if in fact you are in california and you want to get involved Horizon Grand Prix has grants available for your local school, so you can reach out to Marcos, get in touch with them, and I'll have all that in a link down below, or you can always send me an email, and I'll put you in touch with the right people. All right, so heat number one has been completed, and Oakwood High dominated, because most of the other teams are out here in a shakedown run. Oakwood takes this way serious, and they do practice runs and all sorts of nonsense. They came out here with eight teams from Southern California, uh, they plan to run all of the qualifiers. So we're in a bit of a break now. A couple of new teams showed up and they are going through the motions, getting things going. And we should be back up and running in just a few. So heat number two is underway. A couple new teams joining in. Some of the teams that had trouble the first round got their rigs sorted out. And a couple teams showed up with unfinished vehicles and got those kind of slapped together and got out there. So everybody having a good time, learning about RC, team preparation, strategies. But uh, we're about 15 minutes into heat number two now. Once again, qualifiers, which is very much like a practice session. Uh, the Horizon Grand Prix has a total of uh, like 60 or 70 teams in the state of California signed up. So take a walk through the back side of the pits here as this is uh, Oakwood's pits. And they have, they run their own transponder loop. They have technicians, drivers. They got a team mechanic spot. They're going hard for the Horizon Grand Prix. I think they're the two-time reigning champion. They usually come and sweep the top three or four spots. Uh, Marcos saw how awesome Horizon Grand Prix was for the schools and he jumped in with both feet and they have basically teams of two people. So they took their team, split it up. Every team has one car and they take turns driving and dealing with all the pit stuff. And Marcos leaves it kind of 99.9% .9 up to the teams to decide how they go about everything. and. It's a pretty interesting program they got. They figured out the 
balance of the runtime, so they try to get max runtime. So they got decent speeds, not breakneck speeds, and they focus a lot on clean driving. So these kids actually get to get out and get some practice, run laps all the time. Very start to get themselves rolling around. The green flag has dropped, and they have two hours of endurance racing ahead of them. And like we've touched on before, grade school and high school teams getting together to race RC cars that are hydrogen power augmented, I guess you'd say. They use a hydrogen system from Horizon that powers either their radio system, some of them have them set up to actually top charge their LiPo the whole time they're driving. So the teams are able to pick and choose their configurations. Uh, some teams doing pan cars, some teams doing touring cars. There's a front wheel drive car out there that's pretty awesome. So some very unique stuff going on here and a lot of fun. They have these vehicles set up to run two hours on essentially 3,800 milliamp LiPo. They able to, went and checked and most of the teams have their hydrogen cells set up to basically top charge the battery the whole time. So it's adding runtime. And according to Marcos, it's anywhere from probably 10, maybe 15 minutes of extra runtime. So I was under the impression that they basically use the hydrogen stuff to maybe just power the receiver, but turns out I'm wrong again. On this side, these are uh, this is the Team Oakwood. They come deep. They bring, I want to say, eight or nine cars. They've been doing this series from the beginning. And over on this side are their stat master that they go through all the data. So the kids are recording every lap time for each of the vehicles, each of the drivers, the things that are going on in the vehicle. So they can go back afterwards, go through all the data and figure out what setups or optimized and take out you know bad data and look at the actual science of runtime and all that. So I think that's pretty darn cool. find out more information check out horizoneducational.com there is lots of information about what this program is all about and how you can get your schools involved and I think this is very cool I've had an opportunity to work with a couple of the teams on some tech topics set and gear mesh all sorts of fun really nerdy topics about RC that like I actually knew about so it's super fun to help out I got a, a nerd date with one of the schools to go help them fine-tune a couple things uh, next month and get them ready for their regional attempt. So looking forward to some more awesomeness and uh, thank everybody for joining us on another edition of Nerdventure on The Charlie Show.